So this is the hot water panel. It is a very simple design, but it's also quite uncommon. I haven't seen this kind of design before. The panel itself cost about 80 quid, so about 110 um, American dollars or so. 20 times cheaper than a proper system. It'll do ballpark about the same order of hot water. The hottest I've had any part of this um, which is in Guatemala at altitude during winter, was 80 degrees. You can make it yourself in less than a day just with nuts and bolts and bits of plastic and that's it. So we've got the steel pole cut to length and then we're top and tailing it so that the long lengths overlap each other. So like at the corner, we're going to drill a hole straight through, bolt it straight through, just go around, do that, do the four corners. So with the crossing, what do you mean? So you can see all of these lines. Uh, gotcha. Hey, Roshi! Hey! <laughs> and then that's basically the panel itself done, um, minus the spray paint and the plastic. The panel is just made of two sheets of galvanized steel which are bolted together just with this like lattice of nuts and bolts through the middle here and then the edges have a bit of weather stripping in between as like a gasket and then just like this 20 mil steel tube uh, on either side of the galve so the water goes in between just balloons those two sheets of galve out very slightly and that creates like a lattice of space for the water to come through and it gets hotter as it goes and it rises as it goes and then it comes out through the back here. Day two we are building a box for the tank which holds the water to sort of keep everything contained and locked to the roof of the, of the shipping container so that it doesn't all blow away or fall over and kill some children which I've been advised not to do. So basically, we're, it's pretty simple. We're just um, screwing some bits of wood together. <laughs> so we have got the box for the barrel in place that's screwed down but since it's a tall thing in Scotland it's definitely going to blow over. We therefore have these bits of wood here, which we're now going to attach ropes from each of these four corners up to here. These members here are bolted down through the lip of the shipping container, so it's all stable on the base. This is the panel, which we're now going to firmly attach here on about a 60 degree angle, so it's sort of aimed for like the low winter sun more than the high summer sun, but it'll get both. And that's going to be just planted in front here. We're also, well other people are going to then put two rows of solar photovoltaic panels here for electricity. Uh, hi, I'm Gordon. I'm helping install a solar PV system in the garden today. And uh, we need the solar PV system so that we can have lights and power across the site so that the kids can play and people can see what they're doing because up here in Glasgow it gets pretty dark in the winter and the nights are long. Hey Daniel, what are we doing? Today we're going to be plumbing the panel to the tank and the mains to the tank. We're going to spray paint the front of the panel black, we're going to cover it with clear plastic and then the system is done. So basically we just plumbed in the heat exchanger here. So I've just got basic compression fittings going through the wall and then using that to clamp onto the wall. So the water is going to come from the tap through this hose, this will be up there, um, 
into the copper, go around the copper, come out of the copper. This is going to be full of hot water, especially at the top of the tank, because the hot water will rise up. That's the inlet, the hot inlet from the panel. That's the cooler outlet to the panel. So the cooler water comes out here, goes to the panel, gets hot, comes into here. <laughs> The important thing for these pipes is that for reasons of the convection loop, you don't want any sort of like any of that. You want it to be uphill, like you want it to be like a steady incline. If that had some like high and low points, then the heat would get trapped in a high point, basically, and also air could get trapped there as well. Uh, and if an air bubble tra um, gets trapped there, it will break the whole the whole connection, basically. So this is the insulation on the back. You can use anything here. Uh, you can use more of this polyethylene foam wrap. You could use like polystyrene or something significant. But I find just like this is just two layers of like thin cardboard that we just have lying around. So the air temperature is 8 degrees and the water temperature is 17.5 but this is with this level of sunshine which is pretty much none, like this is a Scottish November day, uh, it's not had any sun for a couple of days, this would probably represent about a worst case scenario. Like on a sunny day here the other day, it was about 35 degrees the water. Which means that the kids who come to our sessions will be able to wash their hands before, during and after sessions, um, helping to, us to adapt to COVID-19 and the challenges that it's bringing to this community. We are a community garden space uh, in the middle of Fossil Park, which is located in North Glasgow. And what we needed was hot hand washing facilities to get kids back playing in the garden safely, because this whole project has been done during the COVID-19 crisis. So Daniel's come and he's built this for us. It's working now. Uh, he's let us help him, so that's been a total learning experience for us as well. It's been brilliant. So the way that this is used is we have this little tap down here, which is like just mains cold water. That has a hose which comes down, is buried, comes under the ground and up to here, runs along here, and then goes up into the tank. And then in the tank is a coil of copper tube, which this just connects, the hose connects onto. And then it comes out the other side and it goes down to the sink. The copper tube is sitting in the hottest water at the top of the cylinder. And so it gets hot because copper is a conductor. So it basically sucks the heat, some of the heat out of that hot water. The cold water becomes hot, then goes down to the sink. And then that's your hot tap. We've got a thermostatic valve at the sink, which basically mixes that hot water coming from here and the cold water coming from the hose together. And you set the temperature that you want, and then it like mixes different amounts of hot and cold water depending on their temperature. Uh, and so people can wash their hands for you know, which is obviously important at the moment for health reasons and um, sanitary, sanitary, sanitary reasons. <laughs> <It's obviously laughs> My sanity. <laughs> yeah.